So I think when it comes to the courage to preach, I think it starts with conviction. And that conviction is that, that um, you are taking the biblical text and you're helping, you're studying it, you're praying over it, you're listening, and then you're trying to help people hear what that text might say to their lives today. And so your authority is based in the text and in uh, this ancient tradition of trying to take that text and relate it to people's lives. Um, so part of the courage comes from that. Part of it comes from your conviction about the text or the message itself that people need to hear this. You know, this is, I think this is really important. I think God wants them to hear this. And so it, it's rooted in your faith and a sense of urgency about this. I think of Jeremiah who talked about this message pent up in his bones. And, and uh, you know, we don't always feel that strong sense of fire, you know, pent up in our bones. But certainly by the time we're done with the message, we should feel like, I think this matters. I think people need to hear this. And I think God is asking me to share this. And so, uh, you know, in the Bible, it's interesting, uh, the phrase, the word of God, almost always relates to something that's spoken, something that either something one hears, the still small voice of God, or the, the act of preaching. And so you become the mouthpiece of God, which should make us terrified. And at the same time, you know, that we get it right. And at the same time, uh, you know, when you stand and preach and people are coming, they're coming not to hear from you, but to God, but from God. And, and that also gives us courage.